Robert F. Kennedy says he will announce his vice presidential pick on March 26th at an event in Oakland. Why are we telling you this in a sports segment? Well, because a source tells NBC News the independent presidential candidate has offered the slot to an individual, and that individual has accepted the offer. Mm. Earlier this week, oh Kennedy Jr. confirmed to the New York Times New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers and former Minnesota Governor Jesse the Body Ventura were on his short list. This can't be real, right? It's just he's floating these names for fun. It's Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, who is an active <laughs> member of the New York Jets, is fully expected to return uh, yes. this season. Would he be on the campaign trail during the weekend playing football on Sundays? I... Uh... <laughs> I just want to attack this from the perspective of a Jet fan, because I have lots of takes about just what this means. Why is RFK uh, cornering the market on 9-11 conspiracist Democrats in scare quotes? Like what? Oh, he, he wants um, he wants to have the Sandy Hook Democrats, that demo. Right. So that's the story that came out, of course, yesterday, which is that Aaron Rodgers happens to be a guy who told CNN uh, after they identify themselves as a reporter, Pamela Brown, uh, that whole thing is a conspiracy. That was the reporting. So I say all of this to say, if I'm a Jet fan, how do I feel? And so even beyond the human horror of what that means, that conspiracy in specific, like, is that, is that still a line we can't cross? We'll find out, I guess. I think about football. After all of that, I think about this is the guy who said we need to eliminate off-field distractions. Aaron Rodgers is the same human being who had those words exit his mouth. And now to be the first athlete in history to mount a presidential, vice presidential campaign is just one of those on the nose things that you would laugh at if you also didn't worry about what it says about, I don't know, uh, democracy and ourselves. Kennedy and Rodgers, of course, first bonded over their vaccine skepticism, denialism. The new report that Pablo just referenced is from CNN highlighting the conspiracy theory allegedly shared by Aaron Rodgers about the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting not being real. I mean, this is Alex Jones stuff. It's disgusting. It's appalling. Pamela Brown, one of the reporters behind the piece, said she was introduced to Rodgers while covering the Kentucky Derby back in 2013. And upon hearing that she was a journalist with CNN, Rodgers immediately began to attack the news media for covering up important stories, he said. According to the report, Rogers brought up the Sandy Hook shooting, claiming it was actually a government inside job and the media was intentionally ignoring it. Brown recalls Rogers asking her if she thought it was off that there were men in black in the woods by the school. We're not going to even get into this stuff. Rogers, through one of his agents, declined to comment to CNN in response to this. CNN had a second source on this. He's been saying this to a whole bunch of people. It's arguably the most disgusting conspiracy theory in all of the QAnon Alex Jones world that that has descended on this country in the last decade or so. So I guess, John, the question for me is, at this point, if you're the New York Jets, Aaron Rodgers is a broken down 40 year old who won one Super Bowl a decade and a half and ago. Same number of Super Bowls as Jeff Hostetler, <laughs> Brad Johnson, Trent Dilfer, Nick Foles. Is it worth it to have this guy? By the way, you got an awful lot of Jets fans in Newtown, Connecticut, I promise. And let's remember Aaron Rodgers, his play was already slipping at the end of his time in Green Bay. He played all of four plays last year before he was injured, suffered a major Achilles tendon injury. We don't know how he'll bounce back this year. And that's just the football context. The it is the most loathsome conspiracy theory out there. And if he believes it, then he's a loathsome human being. He also, we know from his former teammates who have said, told people that he would float 9-11 conspiracy yep. theorists too, that he believes December 11th was an inside job. So that might be the second worst conspiracy theory in American society, uh, Pablo. I just, I don't see how the New York Jets can employ this guy. If this, if this is real, let him go. Let him go be Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s running mate. They'll lose in embarrassing fashion. Don't let him play for your team again. Yeah, can I just posit that this guy doesn't really care about football anymore? Can I just say that? Like, it should be insulting for Aaron Rodgers to hear someone say that about him, but every indication is that he wants to talk about and complain about and be victimized by and become a messianic figure because of alleged cancellation. And why? Is it us, Aaron, or is it you? And for Aaron Rodgers, the answer is never Aaron Rodgers is the problem, despite all the people around who are voting in the other direction. And by the way, those Sandy Hook families have suffered for more than a decade yes. because of that conspiracy. Yes. They've been harassed. They've had to move. It's insane. They've had to dis not disclose awesome. where their children are buried. It's the most horrific thing. And if Aaron Rodgers is really talking about this, I don't know how the Jets keep. Now you got Tyrod Taylor. He's a starter. Let him be the quarterback. ESPN's yep. Pablo Torre. Thanks, Pablo. Great to see you. Thank you, Pablo. Coming